now we're ready to start looking at some of the other summary statistics that we haven't looked at yet, like the quartiles, the median, and the uh, minimum and maximum. So one of the ways that we do this is we're going to still use the uh, formulas function in order to do that. And you can see that I already used the minimum function to get the minimum. I used the maximum function to get the maximum, so I can save on time a little bit. So let's go to the quartiles and take a look at those. What we're going to do is go down to the pull down for this uh, this auto sum feature right here, and we're going to go to more functions to choose more functions to choose from. We want to make sure that we're in statistical, and then let's scroll down until we get to quartiles. And you'll know that notice that we have quartiles exclusive and quartiles inclusive. For right now, we are we're not going to worry about the inclusive or exclusive. You can read about the difference between those. We just want to get what the quartiles are, and I'm going to say quartile exclusive is what I'm going to choose. So I'll say OK, and it's going to prompt me to select the data. So I'll click on this. I will select from my data set and go ahead and hit enter, and that'll bring me back here. It gives me the data range that I'm choosing from. And then uh, it gives us uh, just the general information about this. And the other thing that we have to type in is it says quart, and it doesn't know which one we want, so we have to put in this number one right here. Once we do that, this will give us the, the number for the first quartile. And then I'm going to go ahead and click OK, and it'll throw that in there. So we do the same thing for the third quartile. We'll click on the cell again where we want the data to end up or the summary statistic to end up. We're going to go to More Functions. We're going to scroll down to Quartile. And again, we're going to choose Quartile Exclusive. We're going to click OK. We're going to select the array of data, the data that we're choosing from. Go ahead and hit Enter to get back there. And remember, with Quartile, um, one thing that I do want to point out before I get to this is the first quartile we, we just did, the median value is often referred to as the second quartile. The third quartile is what we really want now, the third quarter. So we'll type in a three right there. And then the, the minimum value is, uh, is actually the zeroth quartile. And then the maximum value is actually the fourth quartile. So I'm going to type in three for third quartile there. And then I'm going to go ahead and click OK. And once I do that, it's going to return my value right there. All right, so this may be a little bit different than what you would do if you did a hand calculation, but it gives you what those quartiles are. Now, there's another way that I think is pretty cool that you can get statistics really quick, summary statistics especially really quick uh, from a data set, and that's by using uh, one of the features within this uh, data tab right here, and it's called the data analysis. Now, this isn't automatically installed on your your version of Excel, sometimes what you have to do is you have to go into add-ins and add this in. And I'll show you real quick where we get this from. You go to File, and then you go to Options down at the bottom. And when this comes up, it'll give you a list of different things to look for. And there's this thing called add-ins right here. Once you click that, it's going to open it up. Now, notice I already have the Analysis Tool Pack add-in already in there, but it's going to list all the add-ins right there, but this is the analysis tool pack is what you want to add in. Once you select that, you're going to go ahead and click Go, and it's going to come up and it's going to give you a list of the analysis options that you have. You're going to check the analysis tool pack, and you're going to go ahead and click OK. And I'm going to click Cancel because I already have this installed. So if you don't have this installed, this is how you would do that. So anyways, going back to the data analysis, if I want to use this to get my summary statistics, I just open this up. And it's going to give me a list of all these different features that I can do. Okay, and notice there's descriptive statistics right there. And I'm going to click OK for the descriptive statistics. And it's going to say, Give me the input for the data range. So I'm going to select that, highlight all the data that I'm going to use. I'm going to hit Enter. It's grouped by columns. And then it asks me for my output range. This is basically where you want the data to end up or where you want to put it. And I'm just going to throw it over here in these cells right here. And it may go a little bit longer than that. It should give it to me in two columns. And then I'll hit Enter there. And this gives it to me within this spreadsheet. And then the last thing I want to do is I want to check summary statistics. If you wanted to, you could check some of these other ones, the uh, confidence level for the mean, the case largest, the case smallest, and you can get some additional numbers in there. The summary statistics are basically enough. And I'm going to go ahead and click OK. Now notice it throws everything right in there. It labels it, gives me the column, it gives me the mean, the standard error, the median, the mode, the standard deviation, sample variance, and many other things too, along with this coefficient a skewness right here, which is kind of nice. Now, the only downfall is it puts these in as values rather than functions. So on your project, I'd like to see you using functions for some of this information, but for 
for this if you want to run this and try it out you can do that and like I said when I click on this to check to see if you use formulas it's going to show just actual numbers there so just another way to quick quickly get some of your summary statistics